Welcome to today's broadcast. My name is Colleen Patterson, and I'm the Director of Employer Services and Compliance at Savoy. The breaking news of the day is that at about 135 ish this afternoon, Congress passed a $2 trillion plus economic stimulus package by an overwhelming vote in the Senate and the House. President Trump is expected to sign the bill immediately. The actual bill is entitled the Coronavirus Aid, Relief and Economic Security Act, or CARES for short. And as I mentioned, it was passed into law today. Here are the highlights of what we are sure to learn more about next week. The CARES Act impacts individuals, businesses, and healthcare. Regarding individuals, the CARES Act contains several provisions that affect employees' benefits, such as retirement plans. To name a few provisions, the act allows early coronavirus-related distributions, increased loans from qualified plans, and more. For businesses, the CARES Act provides aid through emergency grants, forgiv forgivable loans, and release for existing loans. These provisions are intended to assist employers to help them stay in business, keep employees on their payroll, and allow them to continue to support employees through employee benefits and health insurance. The CARES Act also includes aid for health care. The Act amends the recent Families First Coronavirus Response Act by expanding the test beyond those that are FDA approved, requiring group health plans and health insurance issuers to cover without cost sharing, prior authorization, and other medical management requirements. And there's also an expansion of accessibility for telehealth. This provision expands the recent IRS notice with respect to high deductible health plans coverage of COVID-19 cost. High deductible health plans with HSAs may now allow pre-deductible coverage for telehealth and other remote services as well as allowing the use of HSAs for the purchase of over-the-counter medications without a prescription. Other aspects of the act include transparency of pricing as it relates to test, coverage of qualifying coronavirus preventative services, as well as vaccines. Lastly, the CARES Act addresses student loans by allowing employers to reimburse or pay up to a defined amount, and this is also noted in the act, of an employee's student loan payments through a code section 127 education assistance plan. Section 127 arrangements are subject to certain technical requirements, including non-discrimination and plan document. Prior to the pandemic, Section 127 education assistance plans were a new benefit that many employers were beginning to explore. This legislation is likely to continue the evaluation and discussion of these arrangements. It's Friday, and we have all successfully navigated another week by embracing change, sharing knowledge, and being passionate in our commitments to helping others navigate these unsettled times. As we have seen this past week, Congress has taken action by passing several pieces of emergency guidance, and we fully anticipate seeing more action from Congress and the administration to address other aspects of the coronavirus pandemic. So definitely stay tuned. As always, should you have more questions or any question, please reach out to your dedicated Savoy team and continue to use the resources available in the COVID-19 section of our website, which is SavoyAssociates.com. From all of us at Savoy, stay healthy and safe. Thank you for joining us today.